thinking of doing for a magazine she's thinking how they're going to be 50 percent female 50 percent males from the magazine that i know i should research the front cover that you're going to see is going to have females on it the first what 20 or so pages so if you've got an example here for your look so the first pet first half will be dedicated to women and then at the back you can turn it over and it'd be the predominantly male section which i think is a great idea
traditional dress, yeah? Yeah, they might like to learn new stuff like Muay Thai, kick, 
boxing or some other time. And I can, yeah. The other colour scheme is like bright colours but a bold and there's some pastel colours but I can use as well. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use bright colours because it's traditional and it reflects with the clothing and the music. And for the male section, I'm thinking of doing blues, oranges, red, yellows, and greens. For the women section, purple, pinks, blue, lilac, and some pastel colours. Mm -hmm. Some more striking colours. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. going to look the way it is, how it relates to her culture, her target audience. Now, she's got quite a big task on her hand in terms of she wants to target both men and women equally. Why not? Okay? Great ideas. I mean, I love the name of the idea. Um, the names of it, the colour schemes you're going to be using, the fact how her magazine is not just going to be, it's going to have obviously a large music base, but how it's going to reflect the culture as well. Hence why in terms of pricing and the fact it's going to be on glossy paper. Now I think in terms of your city, for $2.99 maybe Birmingham would be better because it's, it's bigger and it would target a much wider target audience than say maybe Bradford. I'm not saying you can't target Bradford, maybe bring the price down in terms of that demographic compared to Birmingham. That makes sense. But no, we'll look around the pause line in terms of effort. Brilliant. Fantastic. 